Hey you guys, today we're gonna talk about money. New, right? More importantly, we're gonna talk about inconsistent income. This is something that actors and those who work in the arts, or the art of the side hustle, know very, very well. The lifestyle where the money you get one month is not equal to the next month and the next month, so on and so forth. Some months the money is great and you have more than you need and it's fantastic, and some months it's not so when I thought of making this video, I actually reached out to one of my good friends here on YouTube, YouTuber and fellow actress, Mary Ann, over at the channel Shopping Crafty. I will have her video linked down below as we are doing this as a collaboration. I wrote to her and I said, girl, I'm doing a video. It's going to be about inconsistent income and I know that you're an actress as well. Let's talk it out. And she said, yep, let's do it. So I'll have her linked below and then she will be at my end screen. But without any further ado, here are my top tips on how to budget inconsistent income. Number one is to know your number. You need to know, minimum, the amount of money you need to survive. What is the lowest number that is required to pay your bills, keep the roof over your head, the food on your table, the gas in your car, whatever you need, know that number. I did a video about budgeting a while back. I will link it above. It's a budgeting for beginners. For those that hate making budgets, it's just short and sweet. Get your money down on paper. Know what you need, because if you don't know your number, how do you know if you've made more than enough or not enough on a monthly basis? And it will help you in all the other steps I'm about to discuss. So know your number. If you need any help, there are templates all over the internet. I've personally made one that I've given out to several people upon request. It just has you know, a, a little sheet you fill out that covers all of your expenses, whether they stay consistent every month or they change. It helps you just get your number. Number two can help you whether or not you have an inconsistent income and it is to have three to six months of a financial backup. Have three to six months worth of money once you have your number. Hypothetically, let's pretend like your number is a thousand dollars. Let's just pretend that's your number, whether that's too much or too little for you personally. Let's go with it. A thousand dollars, which means in your emergency fund, your savings account, wherever you can access it, you need to have three to six thousand dollars. This will help you in the months that you don't get work or if some unexpected expense comes up for actresses or actors, there are a lot of times where they'll say, hey, we're gonna bring you in for this audition, we're gonna need your headshot, you're gonna need to wear this kind of dress, these kind of shoes, this kind of hair, and unless you have an entire salon or shopping mall at your exposure for free, you're gonna have some unexpected expenses. So always have three to six months of money set aside in an emergency fund in case you're not gonna get paid for a month or in case unexpected expenses come. Number three, have two to three optional side hustles. Tutoring, childcare, selling items, Ubering, anything. For me, I will schedule extra music students here in my studio for voice and piano. I'll work with clients who want to grow their YouTube or social media platform, or I will help friends sell things and then take that 10 to 20% cut from their profits. Whatever I need to do to make a little extra money. For example, a lot of actors know that they're going to get a lot of work during the Christmas season. They just know, you know, it's the holidays, they're going to get work. But then once January hits, unless they've got a contract lined up, January and the first few months of the year are usually small. So that is when actors will go and they'll look for side hustles and just gigs they can do to get them through the slow season. So whether or not you are an actor or someone in the arts, if you're just somebody trying to keep their income more consistent when it has not been so, have a backup plan. I would say have two to three backup side hustles that you know you can do. Number four is prepare for the drought. We've already talked about how you should have three to six months set aside in case you don't make money, but in the event, once again, we'll use Christmas, in the event you know you have a slow season coming, like you know you feel it in your bones, if you're doing well in the month you're currently in, set aside that extra money to pay your gas bill or your groceries or a little bit of your rent. Prepare for the drought. So again, if you are an actor and it's Christmas time and you make an extra $500 over your number, hold on to that $500, figure out your side hustles, and then assign that $500 a job. Maybe 100 will go to your grocery bill, 100 will go and fill up your gas tank, and then so on and so forth. Just prepare for the drought. Number five is to know your freebies. Know what you can get for free. For me, I know that I never have to pay for toothpaste or shampoo because I can always coupon it and combine it with sales and get it completely 
free. I actually did a video where I shared with you guys my stockpile and how I got majority of all those items for free. I will link it above in the cards. It is an old video. Do not judge my old skills of filming. Well, maybe they haven't gotten any better. I don't know. And then another example of something I can get for free is I can cancel my gym membership and then I can always go work out outside or I can do the many, many workouts that are available to us free on YouTube. There are always freebies, but just know the things that you can get for free anytime you want and then utilize that. Anyway, those are my top tips on how to budget in consistent income. If you have anything that you'd like to add that's worked well for you, please include it down below in the comment section. If you like budgeting videos, give this one a thumbs up. And if you're new here, click that little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a new video. This once again is a collaboration with a wonderful, wonderful YouTuber. Her name is Marianne. Her channel is called Shopping Crafty. Her video will be linked down below or just hold tight. It will be linked in the end at the end screen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fabulous day and I'll see you in the next video.